I've been talking about my epic incline time under 30 minutes, which is, um, you know, it's pretty good. You're not going to, you know, unless you've been training a little bit, doing some running, doing some lifting, you're probably not going to get there. Um, also 185 pounds, so I'm, I'm pretty bigger dude. So, you know, all those really super skinny runner people who are doing it in 25 minutes, I would say I'm at your level, I'm just a little heavier. Enough trash talking, let's get down to figuring out the cumulative distance. So keep in mind, we've got this horrible XML data that I downloaded from my Garmin account and I've made available to you in the video description. It's some kind of an XML file. And we have lots of these pairs of points, like 200 or so. And they all have a latitude and a longitude. We want to compute the cumulative distance across all the points. So now what I did to find the points, just like we did with Beautiful Soup earlier, I use the find all method on my soup object. And if that it just sounds like gibberish, watch the first video and it won't. So now we have length of points. I'll just print that out and then I'll look at the, the first one. The first one is a track point instance. Now let's look at what's actually kind of going on with that guy. Now, one thing you should be aware of with Beautiful Soup is adders is really cool. A-T-T-R-S, which is short for attributes. So let's take a look. Bam. We got lat, we got long. So what I want to do is go through all the points and get all the lat longs. Now, you know, one thing to think about is how do you make tuples out of a list? Um, it's a job for the list comprehension. So that long points. Uh, we're going to do a list comprehension. We're going to say x uh, adders uh, lat x dot adders long for x in points. Uh, right. And that doesn't make sense. I want to make a tuple. And that doesn't exist. It's L O N. There we go. Now, L L points is still a Unicode, right? So we're just gonna floatify this guy, and we're gonna float that. All right. Well, let's see if it looks a little better now. I see a bunch of floats. So I got my first point. I got my second point. I got my third point. Now, how do you compute distance between points? You gotta say. Um, the distance between this thing and that thing, the distance between this one and that one, the distance between this one and that one. So you have to kind of go um, like one to two and, you know, two to three and three to four. So we got to, you know, there are a couple of ways to do this. And I think it's a good chance to talk about how to iterate over things in Python, some of the conventions and, you know, easier ways, more complicated ways, more abstract looking ways that might just confuse people and make you look really smart. So let's start with that one. Uh, confusing people. Um, let's just take a list, right? Some sample data. Uh, two, three, four, five. We just got five. Now remember the zip operator, it combines, uh, kind of combines things, zips them up pairwise. So if you do sample, sample, that will combine uh, the thing unto itself. But if you start playing around with slicing operations and you do something like sample, yeah, we didn't add that here, and sample, and you know this is trial and error sometimes it's a little hard to like conceptualize what zip is doing when you're slicing it but that kind of gives us what we want we want one to two two to three three to four four to five all right that's kind of what we want no so all right let's, let's do that let's let's see if we can do some uh zipped or i would say point pairs um so we're gonna do zip and I'm just gonna just copy that so I don't get confused and change the reference to the uh, the list object we're operating on. And point pairs, 
and there we go. All right. Uh, let's just check the length of that. All right. Point pair is good. So we've basically still got the uh, same number of things. Um, let's just quickly inspect first one. All right, good. So the first one does indeed have two lat long pairs. Now we got to get the distance uh, between each one, right? So what I found and installed was this um, this package called Geo. Where'd it go? GeoPy. Pip install GeoPy. And let's just try it out. It's going to give us the distance between points. Oops. So you feed it some lat long in the form of a tuple of floats. And it should work. Hopefully it works. All right. Now let's substitute out their dumb example with Rhode Island and Cleveland, two places I'm not going anytime soon. Sorry if I offended you. Greetings from Boulder, Colorado. Just going to start and end. And I'm just going to get rid of that. I'm sure Cleveland's a pretty good spot. Newport, Rhode Island. I don't know. I've heard about that. Some nice, nice stuff there, I'm sure. <laughs> um, so pairs uh, zero and pairs one. Now, all right. So just to be clear, like with this multi-indexing, I just, if I want to just keep that, it's the first thing in the list. If I want to keep the other one, it's uh, the second one. And keep in mind, uh, this is a list of hundreds of things. So I'm taking the first element, but the elements have, keep in mind each thing is like two things, right? We're trying to get pairs. So, what we need to do is like iterate through all the things. So let's try to do a list comprehension. This is going to get ugly. So we're going to do like uh, uh, this, whatever this is. Uh, we're going to do like x zero x one miles for x in point pairs. Aha. Uh -huh. That did something. What is that? All right. Yeah, so I'm afraid to do a sum on this and, and see how long it is. Um, we can do a sum on a list. It's Python, man. You just fucking type it in. It usually works. Oh, lo and behold, 0.84 miles. That's not bad for some crappy out of the box thing I just, you know, found on the internet and used called GeoPy. So that is kind of cool. Um, if you don't like this uh, zip thing, um, you could have done without it. I might show that in the next video. I might not. I think this was kind of cool. Um, but we still have to get this into the data frame, huh? All right, we'll do that later. I gotta do some work.